the Random Acts of Theater players are putting on the Complete History of America July 4th through the 14th. Find out more by hitting up their website, ratplayers.com. But we got them to change America's history just for the Hot 100 FM Early Morning Show. It is 90s, 2K, Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play Queen for a Day. Yay. The show all about your knowledge of American history. And we're a lowly housewife, a lowly homemaker, a societally conditioned domestic slave can become queen for a day. Yay. Just by demonstrating her knowledge of American history. Or should I say, her story. Wyatt. Thank you, Colton. And now let's play Queen for a Day. If you think you know the answer, simply raise your hand. Okay, here we go. Who was the most famous female American anarchist, organizer of the early 20th century, founder of Mother Earth magazine, and lover of Sasha Berkman? Oh, everybody wants a piece of this question. Look at all those hands shooting up in the air. Oh, here's a lovely lady right here. Oh, tell me, dear, what is your name? Janice. And where are you from, Janice? Jerome. Tell me, Janice from Jerome. Do you know the answer to Wyatt's question? Uh, no. Uh, uh, well, let me give you a hint. Just say Emma Goldman. Emma Goldman? Emma Goldman, Wyatt? Ah. Sorry, the answer is James and Janan from the Hot 100 FM Early Morning Show. Oh, so close. That's a tight one right there. But we don't let anyone go away empty-handed. Just for playing, we're going to give you our card and our series of Great American Women Trading Cards. Collect all two! Uh, that is exactly oh. the right response. We're awfully progressive here in the 1950s, aren't we, Colton? <laughs> Blame it on Mammy, I always say. All right, here we go. Question number two. This one's a little bit easier. Who was the brave seamstress from Montgomery, Alabama, who refused to move to the back of a bus and jump-started the American Civil Rights Movement? Brave seamstress, civil rights movement. Well, here's a lovely lady right here. Tell me, dear, what is your name? Edgar. Uh, Edgar. And uh, where are you from? Uh, Buell. I I'm sorry? Buell. No, no, no. I heard you. I'm just sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is the only ones that are the best. As we've been proving all day. Now, now tell me, Edgar, do you know the answer to Wyatt's question? Is it uh, Rosa Parks? Rosa Parks, Wyatt? Oh, I'm sorry. The answer I have here is James and Janan from the Hot 100 FM Early Morning Show. Oh, that's really close, though. I think they played her in the movie. They kind of did a Olsen twin switch there, and it was a pretty good performance. Now, we've been barraging you with questions all day, and now it's your time to ask us any questions you may have about American history. Oh, right there. You and you in the pink. Um, yes, how did political parties come into play? It all kind of got started at the beginning of the Westward Expansion, and it started, of course, with the famous Donner Party, which was a big feast that they had on their way to Oregon. And then it just kind of jumped up into political parties, and then we started having these big dinner parties, and politicians would bring over all their friends. Now, wasn't the first spring break actually at Kent State? Uh <laughs>